I, I don't believe that m the majority of the people that are killed in these drone strikes are engaged in an imminent plot uh, that's going to harm America's national security or, or American interests, even as broadly as the Obama administration defines it. I mean, we, we, we really, this should, this should be brought up at an international level uh, because the U.S., as Letta says, is, uh, is setting a standard. There are some 80 countries in the world that have weaponized drone technology. It's just a matter of time before a Russia or a China says, you know what, America does this, we have the right to do it too, and they start uh, doing drone attacks to take out dissidents or people that they perceive to be terrorists. Every nation around the world now claims that it's in a war against terrorism. I was just in Egypt. Uh, where the, the U.S.-backed dictatorship of, of General Sisi is in power. And there are huge posters all over Egypt that talk about how the Egyptian government is in a war against terrorism. It's really a co-optation of this Bush-Cheney idea that Obama, unfortunately, has continued, uh, that if you just label your enemies as terrorists, you can justify doing anything to them and justify denying them of any basic uh, rights. You can't surrender to a drone, and you can't turn yourself in when you haven't been charged with a crime. To what authority do you surrender?